All right, so today we're mostly gonna be, we're fishing a lake that I fished with Perrick about two, three weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I don't really remember. Uh, the water temp was insane when I was here last, and I think it's about, when I was cruising over here, it was 88 degrees still. So this lake is clearly not really in that super transitional phase in the fall, but we're about to find out today. Oh yeah, right now I'm shooting on the GoPro Hero 4. I know I told you guys yesterday I was gonna be shooting with the 5, but I will switch over to the 5 later on today. But for right now, I'm gonna be have the five on my chest, and then I'll shoot with the four in the back because I know that the audio works just fine with the four. So let's get into today. Come on, get up over there. There we go. Oh, first fish, first fish. I was throwing a Carolina rig, and then I switched it up to a Texas rig. Here we go, first fish of the day. Ah, it's got good color on it, thank God. Last time I was here, these were these fish weren't as dark. Oh, well that wasn't so graceful. Or so graceful. Oh, I just, I'm definitely 100% just missed one there. That was quick, that was a real short strike right there. So if you guys wanna know the stuff I'm using, I will, at the very end of this video, I will uh, go kind of go over a recap of what I'm doing today. I feel like today could be a good day. It's only 3 a, or excuse me, it's only 3 p.m. Had a, uh, it's my second bite. Been on this one spot for about 15 to 20 minutes. That is pretty much it. I went, I was using a trick worm at the beginning and it was not working in the slightest bit. Uh, put on the, put on the, uh, the creature bait and I've had two hits, one fish, one hit and five minutes. Always got to be changing up that presentation. Look at these little fishes. Take it. Got him. Oh, he's off. Man, oh man, these bites are far and are few and far between. Yeah, it didn't penetrate. Look at that. He just must have been swimming with it. Gosh dang it, that sucks. Let's get back in there. Oh, well, that's not going to help us. I have moved from this spot. It has been about two hours since I've even had a strike, and that was a strike finally. But I mean, I went down the dam. I even went a little bit south to see if the water temp was really as bad as I thought it was. And it was. The water temp is really bad down there. Uh, I only moved maybe 300 yards, 400 yards that way. And it, the temperature, <coughs> see, I can't even speak. The temperature jumped two and a half degrees just by going 300, 400 yards down that way. So, oh man, it's just tough. You got that warm Texas weather is always keeping these, these lake temps high right now. It'll kick, it'll go like this, it'll snap, it'll change real fast. And then we'll just be in that, that awesome fall fishing that we all were, that we're all waiting for. Man, I really can't find my words today. It's like sitting out here on the water, not talking to anybody. And I just all of a sudden try to talk to a camera and I sound like an idiot. Oh, and by the way, Perrick just called me. He uh, just got chased and attacked by a German shepherd. So that should make for a really good video. And he's in the middle of flying his drone, so. Oh gosh. Finally. Oh, there we go. Finally, finally, finally. Calm yourself, calm yourself. Ooh, the hook just, he just spit it. No, you spit it. Oh, man. It's been a while, but I will take every single fish I can right now. I'm gonna sit here for a little bit longer. I'm throwing the same exact thing. I've been switching it up on and off to a whole bunch of different stuff, hard baits. Get him back in. Been switching off from hard baits to, to soft plastics to crankbaits to top water to just everything. I've been trying everything, even throwing flukes and, and and spooks and spinner baits and everything. But the only thing I can get them to hit right now is that that uh that creature bait, the creature bait with the, the dip tail. So it's gonna keep keep at it and hopefully we can get maybe two or three, four more fish. Cause man, we got about an hour and a half of sunlight left, and I really want to make a good video for you guys. Another one. Got him. Pull one. Oh, is he off? Oh, he's off. That was back-to-back -back cast, though. He wasn't a very big one at all. He's tapped it a couple times. <sighs> That's good, though. Later in the day, the bite seems to be turning on a little bit more. That's back-to-back -back cast with fish. At least uh, attacking the bait. 
But you know, honestly, you guys, this is supposed to be like the uh, early fall transition, but on this lake, it is not, there's no early fall going on. I did see a bunch of bait fish earlier, like up here, but they should be moving back into the creeks, not still be here in the deep water like they are. Like everything should be moving back into the creeks, but they're not. So basically I'm supposed to be on a really early, early this is like an early, early, early fall transitional phase for these fish. But maybe if I go more north in Texas, maybe the lakes will be a little bit cooler and they'll actually be in the back of the creeks. I'm sure a lot of you guys in the comments, <clears throat> in the comment section, I cannot speak today. <laughs> maybe a lot of you guys in the comment section will tell me, since I got a lot of guys from Texas, that a lot of the lakes are transitioning over to that good fall pattern. But since I've been gone traveling, fishing to like Canada and those kind of places you guys been watching. I don't really know exactly what the lakes are doing, but it's very apparent to me that we are still in somewhat of a summer pattern, on this lake at least. 88 degrees is not fall weather. You know what, I'm actually gonna switch from this, that you guys are watching on the four right now. This is the four. I'm gonna put my other five on the back and I'm gonna, I'm gonna really, I'm gonna give it a shot. We're gonna see how good this looks and audio quality. I know right now the audio quality is good because I've used this a very, like a ton. So let's switch over to the five here right about now. All right, so never mind. Problem number one, uh, actually problem number like 60 with the, uh, the GoPro Hero 5. I cannot hook up an external audio source. So you guys get the, you guys get with the uh, Hero 4. So as of right now, I am saying I have two GoPros and I really only need one. Um, I don't know if this was a smart purchase to get. Is that a fish? That's a fish. That is a fish. I think this might be the best one of the day. Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's a healthy one. All right, well, I was just in the middle of a little GoPro rant, caught a fish, that's good. But as I was saying before, I don't, I don't know if, I haven't even figured out how to use this thing correctly. Anyway, I don't know if the, the whole purchase is worth it because I can't stick an uh, external audio like this, like I have with that on the five. So as of right now, if you're thinking about upgrading, wait, I'm learning the hard way. There we go. Now we're on a little bit. Now they're wanting to feed. Ah, there we go. Maybe he just took a, this is another good hook set right in the roof of the mouth. That is three or four casts in a row in that one little spot. There must, there must be some sort of isolate. God, I can't speak today. <laughs> I got to retie because this is really frayed, but there must be some sort of like isolated something like rock or who, who knows. I'm not a professional fisherman. I just come and fish for y'all's enjoyment and myself. There we go. Man, they really have turned on now. Got more bites in the last 15 minutes than I did the first four hours. Oh. Another ginormous fish. This is starting to get fun. I was kind of worried. About two hours ago, I was like, man, it's been a very long time since I've had a bite. It's always a struggle to come out and do fishing YouTube videos because it's like, especially daily, because you never know. You have no clue if you're going to catch fish that day, but you've committed to coming to the lake. But it's always fun. All right. Well, that's going to be it for today. I'm going to go over these rods real quick and uh, I'm going to hop off the water. Okay. So last time I saw you guys was on the water and I probably had caught a fish. I don't know what happened between then because all the outro that I did was done on the new GoPro, which was attached to my chest, which I lost a ton of footage today because this thing's a piece of crap. Don't buy one of these. I don't usually get mad at, at products, but if GoPro, if, if they're gonna make a new product, at least make it better than the old one. I'm going back to the old GoPro because this one sucks so bad. I had a ton of issues throughout the day with this thing, and the freaking memory card that was attached inside of here broke off inside of it. This thing is garbage. This is this one I'm talking about. Like, look at this. Who puts a memory card slot right here? 
your finger can't push out. So you have to pull the battery out. But then once you push this thing out, you, when you pull it out, it bent the crap out of it and broke off inside of it. If you're new to this channel, I usually don't rant and rave about companies, but when you spend $800 on two cameras, you expect them to work flawlessly. And these ones are garbage. As of right now, I believe they're garbage. Unless they fix something with them. I'm just, I'm mainly just angry because I lost all the footage that I had today. And it was a lot of cool stuff to show you guys on this, this chess cam. <sighs> yep. I, I know I was supposed to tell you guys the rods and the reels I was using. I was using, this is just, this is just frustrating because I had to redo this twice in my kitchen. Because I'm going over footage and I'm, uh, um, I'll link them below, the ones I was using. I'm sorry, I, you guys aren't going to be able to get the, like, the in-depth stuff. Because like I said, it was lost because these new GoPros are trash. Sorry about that. But other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. I'm real sorry that this, this video ended so abruptly. I had a lot of stuff planned out and it went to complete dog crap. So anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Look how awesome this is. So that means that they're fighting in such close quartered areas. They are, they basically are running low on grenades. So like somebody asking for like a refit of grenades is, is absurd. That means they're like fighting like really, really, really close quarters.